Hi there, I am Daphne Walbridge and I help first year principals not only survive but thrive as new educational leaders. And I do this by focusing on three critical pillars, a conscious leadership, creativity, and of course, connection. So welcome to today's talk, to today's lesson. And today I'm talking about the one biggest priority that should be on any first year principal's mind. Now, what could that be, you're asking? Well, basically it is on securing uh, quick wins from the start that are visible and that have an impact on as many people as possible. And today I want to talk to you about doing this and I'm going to give you a couple of examples on uh, how this can play out in your professional setting and for yourself. Of course, it might look totally different for you and according to your values, your priorities and your reality. But I think it's important to address the, the um, that, you know, to gain that important momentum and to boost, to give yourself a boost of confidence from day one is really important that you secure some quick wins from the start. So the first item of business is of course to address any concerns staff may have and of course there will be some. Now you can do this a few ways. Uh, if you've been following my work, I posted a few weeks ago a video about um, building positive staff culture and I talked about uh, a start of year survey and if you want access to the top questions you can ask your staff for to, to properly onboard them uh, in your new year I have 10 questions that you can put in this survey available to you in the free first year principal uh, toolkit so you can sign up for that by going to the firstyearprincipal.com and, and get access to that free toolkit. But anyway, addressing concerns. You can do this through surveys. And in your survey, you're gonna be asking questions regarding to concerns or worries or pain points uh, your staff may have because you're getting to know them and you're getting to know the ins and outs of your school and its culture. And this is a great way to secure some quick wins because um, oftentimes these are trivial things that you can easily fix. For example, um, I remember we had at my school like a red line going down the hallway and it almost looked like a little prison. You know, the kids had to walk on one side of the line and the others on the other. And it was kind of like very, you know, um, it was kind of, it was irritating the staff. So that was something that came up. So we just ripped off the tape and that was fixed. Um, another was during the snow days. The staff wanted to keep their kids in their class without changing the whole schedule because there, were, there was always something that came up where students would come in at the end, making it unfair to the other teachers because their classes were bigger. Anyway, it was a whole logistics thing and uh, the workload was not evenly distributed. So I kept that in place. I said, okay, fine. Teachers can keep their, their students for the whole day when it's a snow day. Done. So little things like that that are easily, you know, fixable um, can be addressed from day one within the first few weeks of your new principalship. Okay. Uh, another one was that they wanted to make sure that the principal was walking the hallways a lot and was really present. Not a problem. I made sure to get out of my office, to help with bus duty, to eat with the staff at, at the lunchroom so we can talk. I was readily uh, you know, available to answer any questions. So all of this helped diminish anxiety. They, it helped the staff um, feel confident towards my leadership. And I got to know the staff and right away, it secured some quick wins for myself without having to do that much work. It's just sending out a survey, really going through the questions, talking with the staff, and then acting. So this is the first item of business. The other way you can get quick wins um, is to boost the school vibe. So again, 
Uh, I talked about, you know, setting flowers in front of the school and having some balloons. Uh, I also was fortunate to revamp the library um, within the first month. We got a beautiful donation from a member of the community and um, got to buy $3,000 worth of books and resources, took photos of that, posted that on social media, uh, made a big, big deal out of it. So that really hyped up the vibe. People felt good. Um, what other things? We, we started a, a steam classroom and a composting program. Again, took lots of photos and, and boosted the staff. It took a lot of uh, behind the scenes photos and, and, and had the, the, the weekly newsletter sent out to the staff and we would have fun with that. So all of that helps you shine the light on what's happening in the school. And it also shines a light on your leadership. It, signals to your staff and to the community because if you're posting things on social media that are of positive nature and that show that your school is is forward thinking and you know innovative and creative it's only going to um, enhance your profile and uh, narrow that confidence gap that is often there when a new leader steps in because somebody's left and you're replacing that person so you have to work doubly hard to have your own voice and create your own presence and these are two ways you can um, access quick wins to boost confidence and make sure that um, you um, you're represented in the best light possible as you navigate these first months so I'd love to get your thoughts on today's video. Please make sure to, to leave your thoughts down below. And if you know someone who can use this piece of advice, please make sure to forward this video along to them. And you can also access other great tools such as the free First Year Principal Toolkit um, on my site. You can see it right there, the firstyearprincipaltoolkit.com. And uh, you can uh, also check out the First Year Principal uh, principal classroom where there's lots of fabulous resources over a hundred training videos short training videos uh, to help new leaders thrive as uh, new principals first year principals and if you're an aspiring principal it's also a great resource because it'll help you create the proper mindset and hone the perfect tools to get your first principalship so thank you so much for watching i will see you next week with more content to help you thrive as a new educational leader. Bye for now.